It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Drinking games can be a lot of fun. Yeah, of course. They can also mm-hmm. be very awkward at times. Huh? Like beer pong with your friends. A lot of fun. Always? Beer pong when I'm at the senior center trying to help out down there. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> we're going to get together and play some beer pong. It's always awkward. <laughs> they never seem to have as much fun doing it as I do. Chug, Granny, but chug. Sam is on the phone to do an Awkward Tuesday phone call today because he had... An awkward issue come up when he was playing a drinking game with some friends. Sam, how are you? Hey, I'm all right. Thank you for agreeing to do the Awkward Tuesday phone call today. Yeah, yeah, no, this is cool. Hopefully. So your email said you had a very awkward experience playing drinking games with your friends the other day. Tell us about that. A group of friends, we got together. It was just kind of a house party, hanging out situation. And we're all drinking. I was definitely drinking and uh we play the the game never have i ever oh. you guys right. know what that is? And yeah that's the game where you hold fingers up and somebody goes never have i ever oh, made out yeah, with my yeah. teacher mm-hmm. and then if you have you put your finger down and they're like oh you made out with your teacher oh. you got you know and are, is this a group of friends that you know really well that you're playing this game with yeah we're really kind of a tight-knit group of friends and we're hanging out everything was totally cool we decide to play and it was really fun mm-hmm. and There were some funny things that happened, and then somebody asked a question, and it's something I probably shouldn't have been so honest about. (laughs) (laughs) I think that happens a lot during that game. (laughs) They're like, "Uh, I could, you know what? It's really easy to lie during Uh that game. Just keep your fingers up, and you don't have to come clean about stuff. So, what did you admit to? Uh, Fantasizing about someone in the room. Oh, okay, no. so the question was, have you ever fantasized about anybody in the room and you put your finger down? Exactly. Basically oh. admitted to it. Did anybody else or were you the only one? I was the only one. Oh, no. <laughs> that must have been embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, no, when I said I fantasized about someone, everyone was like, well, who is it? And I just sort of pointed at her and I said, it's Lauren. Okay. Oh, so it was a girl that you were fantasizing about. It wasn't a bunch of dudes that you were playing. I mean, I wasn't clear. I thought it was all your guy friends yeah, that you were playing the game cool with. Too. I mean, to be honest, I think that would have almost been less awkward at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so what was Lauren's reaction to it? Uh, silence. <laughs> is she is she your guys' is like super super hot friend? I mean she's really attractive, she's pretty, but I never really thought of her that way and it just sort of came up because I had a dream. So she couldn't just laugh it off? Well I thought that's what would happen, that we could kinda laugh it off and everyone would just not think about it and sort of move on and be another <laughs> funny thing in the game, but yeah. just got comfortable. It was like uh <laughs> Just silence. From everybody? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's like everyone looking around at each other and like yeah. looking at her. <laughs> so it killed the mood. You're answering that question just killed the whole party. Oh, I just, it was uh, the biggest party foul there could be. Did you, did you pull any of your friends aside later and say like, uh, what do I do? Yeah. Like, that's weird. I didn't mean to make everybody so weird. <laughs> No, after that, no one wanted to talk about it. And I was just like, hey, guys, can we just get back to the game? Like, let's do another one. <laughs> and nobody wanted to play. Seems like an overreaction to me. me I, I mean, too. don't you think they should have no. just been able to laugh it off? I think it's super weird. I wish uh, I wish that were the case, but uh, instead I'm calling you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you hoping to accomplish with your Awkward Tuesday phone call then? I just, I tried texting her. I tried calling her. She just doesn't answer, goes straight to voicemail. I just want things to be normal. I just want things to be the way that they were before this thing. So you want to actually talk to Lauren and try to explain yourself. Yeah, I want to tell her, like, I'm not a creep. I'm not trying to pursue anything. It just, it came up in a dream, and that's all it was. <laughs> like, I'm not a, I'm, I feel weird saying I'm not a creepy dude, because usually if you say you're not a creepy dude, chances are you are a creepy dude. <laughs> That is very true. That's a good Guilty. point. Yeah. So you want to get her on the phone and go, hey, sorry about telling everybody I fantasize about yeah. you. But sorry it... I made things uncomfortable. Let's just get back to normal. Okay. And how many times have you tried to get a hold of her? You said you texted her and stuff. Well, that's the other thing, too. I didn't want to do it too much. Mm-hmm. So maybe like two texts and mm-hmm. two phone calls. Okay, well, 
We'll play a song, come back, give you our advice, and then you can call her and try to convince her that you don't sexually fantasize about her. <laughs> I think you're lying. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, hang on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. If you're just tuning in for the Awkward Tuesday phone call, Sam is on the phone with us, and Sam is a big pervert. Huge, (laughs) big pervert. Hey, maybe. We don't know. Isn't that right, Sam? I would not say that's entirely true. (laughs) (laughs) Sam, Sam sent us an email because he was at a party with some friends. They were playing the drinking game, Never Have I Ever. If you don't know what that is, it's where you hold up five fingers and somebody goes, Never Have I Ever Gotten Naked in a Park. Mm -hmm. And if you've gotten naked in a park before, you put your finger down and people go like, Ah, you got naked in a park. Why, you big perv? And (laughs) Sam probably said yes to that, too. I don't know. But... (laughs) Apparently, during that game, somebody said, never have I ever fantasized about anybody in this room. And he was the only one to put his finger down. And then they were like, explain. And he pointed at his friend Lauren and said that he had fantasized about her. And then it got awkward after that. She sort of stopped talking to him. The party kind of died down. So he wants to call Lauren today and try to make amends because she hasn't talked to him since the party. You said it was just from a dream that you had, right? It was a dream, just one weird dream. Okay. I think what you should tell her is that, you know, I'm sorry, and then also go, look, I've had fantasies about everybody in that room. (laughs) All of them. It wasn't just you? You're not Not, special? Not just you. Actually, I had fantasies about that night, and if the game would have continued and we drank a little more, maybe we could have made it come true. But you had to ruin it and then start yelling at her for ruining your fantasy. Uh, That's my angle. That's That's the angle I think you should take. (sighs) Yeah, don't do that. I think your only hope is to really just stress uh-huh. to her that you're not actually attracted to her. Because you're not, right? No, I mean, I'm not attracted to her. Like, it's never been like that. It's just she is attractive. Okay. And I had that dream, and I just said it. I was drinking. <laughs> well, I'll dial her phone number right now, and you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call. All right, let's do it. Okay. Hello. Hey, Lauren. It's Sam. I don't want to talk I, to you. I just want to talk about how we were at the party, and I just wanted to say that I do I, not I, want to talk to you right now. You just got to hear me out because I want things to be normal, like they were. They won't be. We, uh, <laughs> just hear me out, please. Do you know how embarrassing that was? All of our friends were there. It was in front of everyone. You yeah, made me and, so and I want, uncomfortable and embarrassed. I just want to tell you that I don't have feelings for you like that. It was just one tiny dream. We were on a beach. We were hanging out. Ew. You were Ew, wearing a stop, bikini. Stop. I don't want to hear about it. Do not describe it. It's not like I wanted to have that dream. It just It's just a dream. I couldn't control it, and I was just being honest about it. I know you couldn't control it, but you could control telling me about it and telling our friends. But we were just drinking and having a good time. I didn't think people were going to take it so serious. Do you know how weird and uncomfortable that is that you said that in front of everyone? This isn't an emotional thing. You're an attractive woman, and I'm a dude. And men get attractive to beautiful women. You're making it worse, Sam. Stop. I don't want to talk about this. It's not weird, though. Why? It's not weird. How do you not see how it's weird? We're related. Awkward. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh hey, Lauren, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Holy crap! <laughs> what? I, know, Brooke. I think we missed a very important part of this story. <laughs> uh-huh. Who is this? Lauren, this is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Oh my the gosh. morning radio show. Sam wanted to call you on the air today to ask you. Oh my uh, to ask your forgiveness for saying that he had a uh, fantasized about you in front of all your friends, but he left out a very, very important part of the story. You guys are related? Well, no, we're we're barely related. We're step siblings. You're, You're what? what? You're what, Sam? She's my stepsister, but she's only been my stepsister. Like, we've, we've been better friends than we have been. Our parents got remarried later in life. Wait, how long has she been your stepsister, Sam? Like three years. 
<laughs> it's only been official for three years, but we've known each other for seven. Oh, <laughs> that makes it even worse. What? Sam, why would you not think to tell us that that was your stepsister? <laughs> I, I, I didn't think it was a big deal because I just think of her as a friend. I don't think of her as, like, my stepsister. Well, you should. You need to. Your dad and my mom are married. We are step siblings. Yeah, right. Okay, so big deal. So we're... It is a big deal. I, it's not a big deal. Look, yeah, my dad and your mom are married. It's not like we're blood-related. Like, we're just, <laughs> we're better off friends. And look, look, you're hot. All right, you work out. <laughs> you have a nice butt. I'm a dude. Dudes like that. I like the way your body looks. Like, is that Whoa, weird? Sam? <laughs> stop <laughs> yourself right now. Like, you're digging your hole way That's deeper. But can't you guys? Real. I mean, you could cut them a little bit of slack. They aren't blood related. It's not actually incest. That's no, I'm. Idaho. I'm, I'm fine saying. with them. <laughs> I'm fine with them not being blood related. If they've only known each other for a little while, it makes sense. But it just sounds. We haven't even known each other that long. Like, I was already graduated from school. I was out of the house when she moved in. We haven't known each other that long. <laughs> it doesn't matter our parents are still married and both of our parents still live there but i don't look at you like you're a sister like i look at you as my friend we are friends look sam even if you have those feelings you don't ever say them in front of people especially our friends okay i could see why saying them <laughs> in company friends is inappropriate i get that or saying them at all you don't need to speak on it <laughs> so I, but I could tell them to you. Ew! <laughs> never tell me anything like that. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry that I did that. I'm sorry I said that in front of our friends. I just, I really just want things to get back to normal. What, what can I do? What can I do or say to make I it normal? Stop doing and saying anything about the dream or. <sighs> these feelings that you've been having. I'm going to need some time. I haven't been having those feelings. It was just one time, maybe <laughs> twice. But it was enough for you to have to express it in front of our friends. I'm not looking to have a relationship with you. I'm not even looking to pursue anything at all. I just want things to be the way they were two and a half weeks ago where we are all friends and we hang out. Lauren, I know this is pretty weird, <laughs> but obviously Sam's sorry, and I don't think that he meant it like the way that you think that he meant it. Is there any way you can get past it? Look, I'm sure after a little while, I'll be fine. But right now, I'm weirded out, and it's awkward, and I don't want to talk to you about it. Can you just give me some space, please? All right, just just please don't tell Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Uh, hey, so bad. Lauren, thank you for your time, even though you didn't know you were on the air. Until we told you. Yeah. And Sam, good luck, man. Um, <laughs> never admit to fantasizing about your sister ever, ever again, okay? I'm going to do my best. All right. I hope everything works out for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're oh. welcome. Poor Lauren. It reminds me, I have to call my sister today and tell her about a dream I had. Oh, I'm so talk to her. Gross. Yeah. That's your real sister. It is. Since birth. Gross. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning.